I'm gonna tell y'all the real before my phone die. The real is the nigga, the motherfucking nigga. I commented under his shit. I was like, bro, I'ma beat your ass. Keep talking about Zillikami. That nigga made an instant snap listening to Trap Star. Then I looked up the nigga's videos. Ended up becoming cool with him. I flew him out to LA. The nigga seen that I was a blood. Stole all the sauce. X the same type of nigga though. Fuck X too. He a bitch too. That nigga, he stole Ski Mask style. He stole my style. He just collided with his shit. Like all these nigga bitches, bro. All these nigga hoes. I'm out in LA. I'm at the Lowe's, my hotel, nigga. <coughs> I'm not no bitch, nigga. You got a problem with me? Pull up. Hello. Pull up. We got the blicky, huh? Stiffy, huh? Dicky, huh? Licky, huh? <laughs> right now. <laughs> Pull up. Anyway, niggas lie on their dick. Niggas lie to their fans. Niggas ain't real right. Ask Billy the, ask Billy the kid. Ask him. I'm smoking on Trayway right now. <laughs> she said, smell good. We smoking that Trayway. <laughs> Chai! 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 Hey, oh shit, watch my back. Yeah, Chai Wei. Chai Wei. Fuck you talk about. Chai Wei! Chai Wei! Let's get him soon. Check it out now. Can somebody take Trippy Red's phone? Take it, please. Trippy Red, you need a Nextel chirp phone, man. You don't need no phone with goddamn social media. You're fucking up. Now I'm going to use this video. Because I now want to be, I'm auditioning. Please send this video to Trippy Red. I'm auditioning to be a coach for Trippy Red. Because this is the thing, man. If you guys watch NBA playoffs, you see the Sixers playing the goddamn Boston Celtics. The Sixers should be winning by a landslide. But you know what happens? Their coach sucks. And because their fucking coach sucks, they keep making the wrong decisions at the wrong times. And they keep losing. Now, Trippy Red, in my opinion... If we look at how he's handling the situation with him and 6 9 I see the reaction in my comment section and even his comment section when he posts about 6 9 People call him lame, corny, bitter, obsessed. They keep saying that, yo, Trippy Red is just a guy who's a hater. Now, I don't even think Trippy's a hater. But Trippy keeps fucking up. So do everyone else. He seems like he's a hater. Plus, I do believe the two people that Trippy's talking about they're outplaying him in a game of chess when he has more valuable pieces on the board. How the hell did you have 6 9 against the ropes? You about to knock that nigga the fuck out. You about to knock his career out with the, 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 the alleged pedophile rumors, whether they were true or not. You was about to knock that nigga out. That nigga was trying to bob and weave on the ropes. How the fuck you let that nigga hit the spin move and the swim move on your ass, and now he's punishing you in the 12th round, making you look like you wasn't ready for this shit? Now, Trippy, I got to tell you, man, the thing is X is playing his beef so well. By the way, X don't like Trippy Red. Trippy don't like X. All that, oh, we love each other, they don't like each other. But here's the thing. X wants to not give Trippy clout. Okay, that's the reason why X did wasn't too fond of me doing a video about Trippy Red talking about him, because he's not going to respond, right? So X is just using the ignore method. No matter what Trippy says, it's not sticking because the bigger artist is not responding. That doesn't always work. But when you get a smaller artist shooting at a bigger artist, if the bigger artist doesn't acknowledge it, it just goes away after time. So when you see Trippy still speaking on X and it doesn't look like X gives a fuck publicly, even though I think he does privately, when he doesn't react publicly, it looks like Trippy is cloud chasing. It looks like Trippy's obsessed. It looks like Trippy's ungrateful because of what X gave him in terms of a good look for his career with Fuck Love. And I know Trippy did a song, but that was a big move. That was a big look. But is he wrong though? To me, he ain't wrong about what he said about X. Now, I don't think X jacked Ski Mask style. I think these two motherfuckers came up together. An inspiration, when you come up with a nigga, it goes both ways. I believe that X is inspired by Ski Mask, just like I believe that Ski Mask is somewhat inspired by X, okay? Now, is it more obvious in X's style? I would probably say yes than Ski Mask style, because we credit that style to be Ski Masks, okay? Now... 
Do I believe that X stole the sauce from Trippy Red or whatever? No, but I do believe that X was inspired by Trippy Red. Okay, the thing is, it's so hard to say X stole anything because X is very diverse. And he doesn't only have one style, so he's not really ripping niggas off. He's just floating from style to style and from, from, from melodies to melodies and from cadence to cadence. He does it all. So him and Trippy used to work together. Yes, inspiration probably flowed back and forth. Yes, I believe that Trippy's a little bit inspired by X. And I do believe that X's music is a little bit inspired by Trippy. Okay, now, 6 9 another point that Trippy brought up, which I think is a great point. Now, it's a great point, and, and you're probably thinking, yo, why'd you give Trippy a lecture if you're kind of agreeing with whatever he says? Listen, I'm going to tell you why. 6 9 is actually someone, I believe, went around Trippy, he saw the Krabby Patty formula, he took it, and he ran to the chum bucket. Okay, and then he got a chum bucket so popping, the chum bucket looks like the new Krusty Krab. That's just what it is, okay? So I agree with him there. However, this is where I keep telling you he's fucking up because people don't care about that when you're the one complaining. They only care if you're in the lead. When you're at the back of the crowd shouting to the nigga who's in the front talking about, if I ain't trip, you wouldn't have been in the lead. People say, shut up. He's saying this at the wrong time. And he's saying this too much. He seems obsessed. And also, he seems like he's not having fun with it, like how 6 9 is having fun with it. Okay? And it seems like he's now always looking at people with more success and he's trying to justify why some people have either passed him or why he can't keep up with others. Okay? He has the right tools to win, but he has the wrong coach telling him to use the wrong tools at the wrong time. Trippy, come over here to the negotiator I get in your corner. I make sure that you don't look like this, man, because you should be winning. Instead, some of the moves you're making is making it seem like you're losing. And it's making people think about you much different than they've ever thought about you before. Get in the comments. I expect you guys like them. Subscribe. What do you guys think about this? Do you think that X stole nigga shit? Do you believe that uh, 6 9 stole people shit? And do you believe they stole all the sauce from Trippy? Get in the comments, make sure you guys like them, subscribe, your boy Jack Demix. Oh.